What's up everybody and welcome to this week's Wednesday Reviews. I am so sorry that it's very, very gloomy outside and it just so happens that that is my only source of light and it just, it just rained this morning because it's very wet outside but that doesn't matter, right? So here we go. Even though it is a gloomy day, let's still have it exciting and let's continue on with our alphabetical list for our movie reviews. So today we'll be watching one of the movies here in this double feature, starring Jason Statham, also a member or a cast member in The Expendables 2 and 1. So go and watch that if you guys want to. I might watch that later on, but first let's watch this movie, Chaos, to fulfill our C requirement for our ABC list. So I'm going to go and watch Chaos, then we'll come back and make the review just for you. Alright, so go and watch it and then I'll give you guys my review. What's up guys? Alright, so I just finished watching the movie Chaos with Jason Statham. Let me get my case for a minute here. So I just came from school too and so I'm kind of sweating. It's hot even though it's kind of gloomy and it looks like it's about to rain again but still I just played basketball. Man, this girl Woo, she, she wouldn't get off me, and then suddenly I packed her, and then I had to pack her twice before I got to get the ball, then she stole it from me. Good game from her if she's watching this. Anyway, let's get on with what you guys came here for, the review for Chaos. So let me give you guys the summary which is written on the back of this case. Here we go. Chaos, Detectives Quentin Connors, Jason Statham, and Shane Decker, Ryan Phillip, are drawn into a mysterious case with a criminal mastermind, starring Wesley Snipes, who seems to kill without warning or reason. Their only hope for survival is finding an order to the chaos. I like the movie. It's a great concept. It's okay. I say okay because it's not the greatest thing in the world. The concept is nice, but I think the execution could have been better. And uh, this is rated R for the violence and language. But if your household is filled with lots of violence and lots of language, I suggest don't watch this because it might enhance the violence and language inside of your household of which you do not like. And then of course, this is 2005 and it's in Blu-ray. But you can watch it, it's a good movie. And it is in 1080p high definition remastered widescreen presentation. You get the two uh, pack, the Blu-ray two pack legends of the Jason Statham star uh, with chaos and the bank job. So there are some goofs and that's why I give this movie about an eight. So the goofs is, for instance, right in the beginning. Yes, the headlines are supposed to further the story, to advance the storyline, to give us a little heads up of what happened in the past. Because of course, like any type of screenplay, you should always start in the middle. Of course, we need a little bit of background on what happened. And so we see this bridge scene, then we see this these newspaper clippings, but the headlines, yes, they change, but the at least change the contents of the newspaper, the little articles, and they all have to do with the stock market. And so it's some, I know it's a little thing, but you know, it makes up for a lot. There's even a part where the person says a double negative, and I believe it was Jason Statham's character that says it infers something positive, like, you know, because it's a double negative. That's already a character uh, misrepresentation because since his character seems like he's a grammar Nazi, infers is the wrong word to be used in that sentence. And it seems like he's trying to use inflated language. And this is what the screenwriter did. He used inflated language to make it sound like these characters know what they're doing. And when you do that, it kind of lowers down the credibility of each character and makes them less realistic, especially in the field of what they're doing. And of course, in what he does uh, because of this chaos. I do like the action. Oh, I mean, what action isn't great with a legend like Jason Statham? And then of course you got Wesley Snipes over there. Like I said before, I like the concept. I'm like, you don't know who done it or who's really the bad guy. You know who's the bad guy, but you're kind of suspicious. You don't know who's and what's and ifs and buts. And then you're dealing with police against the criminals. And I feel like this is something that has been done before, but has been twisted in a different way. So that's why I give it an eight. And I don't know, what do you guys feel about it? I want to know what you guys think. If you guys have seen Chaos, if not, go and watch it. I recommend it. I got it. 
I like watching it. I love the explosions and I love the action. Sometimes I wish the geography was correct. There's some places that, you know, kind of don't, doesn't work. You can tell that they go through one alley a few times. You can tell it's the same alley. So at least change things up in the geography and everything like that. But with all that aside, I like the movie. I give it an 8. And I wonder what you guys think. Anyway, that's pretty much it for this Wednesday Reviews. And my name is Alberto, and I'll see you guys next week when I give you guys the D letter, okay? The movie that will fill in our D slot. Yes, we already, already have a D movie, Death Trap, but I'm going to watch another D movie so that we can fill that in. But that's pretty much it right now, and I'll see you guys next week. My name is Alberto. Peace out.